Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another very special hated video. This video is going to be a little guide about the gift wrapping station machine coming into the game very, very soon. Now, I did make a video on this a few days ago in which I talked a little bit about it, but at that time I did not have enough information. But now I do, so I'm going to be explaining everything that you guys need to know about this machine. Make sure to check out the other content creators as they've posted their videos about the gift wrapping station as well. So I'm just going to harvest my crops and then I'll talk about it. I'm harvesting some sugar canes and soybeans. Let's see what I can plant. I'm obviously going to go with something that takes a long time, maybe some potatoes. Yeah, because I've been making a lot of stews these days. And then I will go with, I don't think I'm going to plant the onions right now. I'll just go with some ginger and let's see, yeah, some mint. All right, here I go with all my crops. Now, what is the gift wrapping station? Now, the gift wrapping station is going to be a major part of the big event starting in the game Monday, 5th of December, which is going to last till 2nd of January. So you have 28 days to play this big event. It's going to be full of fun and excitement. So without wasting any further time, let's dive into more detail and see how is it all going to work. So here we go with this brand new machine, Gift Wrapping Station, coming into the game 5th of December. You can have a look at its design. I think it's so festive, so cool and very, very colorful. You can see those wrapping papers and gifts all around it. You can also have a look at the fully mastered version of gift wrapping station on the right hand side. There's a star at the middle glass at the top and some parts of the machine have been converted into golden color. So let's see how you'll be able to get this. Guys, so here's some information that you need to know about the gift wrapping station. You will have to be level 17 or higher in order to get this machine. Now this will be delivered to you by Alfred the Postman on 5th of December at 10 a.m. UTC. It is going to cost you no coins, you don't have to worry about the coins, and it is also going to take no time to build. As soon as you get it by Alfred, you can start producing the gifts. It's going to stay in the game from 5th of December to 2nd of January, so you have 28 days to have this beautiful machine at your farm. After 2nd of January, this machine will be disappeared. Now here's the picture in which you can see this is how the gift wrapping station is going to look like on your farm. You can see you're going to make some gifts inside it. And if you have a look, there are three stars. That means you will indeed be able to fully master your machines. I'm still not exactly sure about how many hours you'll have to run it. We'll talk about that when it actually comes into the game. And at the bottom, you can also see that you'll have to expand the slots just like any machine. It's only going to come with two empty slots. Then you're going to have to spend diamonds to open its slot. This is going to be a little different as compared to your normal machines. To open the slots of gift wrapping station, you're going to have to spend some more diamonds. You're going to have to spend 20 diamonds to open its third slot. Keep adding 12 more diamonds to open the next slot. 32 diamonds for the fourth slot, 44 for the next one, 56, 68, 80, and then for the final, it's 92. So in total, you're spending 392 diamonds to open all the slots of your gift wrapping station, which is really expensive. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do this. I might just work with five slots. Again, we shall see when it's actually inside the game. Now, you must be wondering what this gift station is going to do. Well, just like any other machine makes the products in the game, this machine is going to produce the gifts that you can see in this picture. We have a snowflake gift, green gift, stacked gift, and the long gift. Now, if you come into the game, have a look at your barn, and scroll down, you can actually see these gifts. Please remember, just like other products, these gifts are going to be available to you at different levels. So you might not have all of them in your barn, depending on your level. Well, you must be wondering how to make these gifts. Let's dive into more detail and check it out. All right, so the very first gift of this machine is the snowflake gift. You can have a look at its animation at the left-hand side. To make this, you're going to need one cookie, three indigos, and three milk. This is going to unlock at level 17, and this will take 45 minutes. The next is the green gift, unlocking at level 25. You're going to need one wallet dress, three chili pepper, and three apples to make it, and it's also going to take 45 minutes. The stack gift, to make this, you're going to need one espresso, one honey, and three strawberries. It is going to unlock at level 43, and will take 60 minutes or an hour. Last but not the least, you have the long gift, unlocking at level 70. You're going to need one mayonnaise, three sunflowers, and three onions to make this gift kind of unusual. Um, but yeah, it's going to take 90 minutes or one hour and 30 minutes. Okay, next question. Once you've made these gifts, what are you going to do with them? Well, all these gifts that you're going to make in your gift wrapping station are going to be used in the game to earn a new currency called as Holly that you guys can see at the very right side. It's so pretty. Now let's dive into some more detail about this. The question is, how exactly are you going to use these gifts to earn Holly? You are going to be using these gifts to fill the crates in your boat, and once you do that, you will be earning this new currency called this Holly. Let me show you how many Hollies you can get per gift. 
Okay, in this picture, you can have a look at how many hollies each gift will be giving you per crate. Because yes, you are going to be filling the crates of these gifts, which I'll be showing you guys just in a moment. So the snowflake gift will be giving you 20 hollies per crate, green gift 25 hollies per crate, stacked 25, and the long gift 30 hollies per per crate. Well, starting off the 5th of December, each boat that's going to come to your farm will be asking for the gifts, and you will have to fill these gifts in the crates to earn the hollies. For example, here's a picture showing the stacked gift in the boat. You have three crates of it, and each stacked gift crate is going to give you 25 hollies. That means by filling all the gift crates, you are earning in total 75 hollies, which is pretty cool. Another example showing the long gift, this time with four crates, each is giving you 30 hollies. This means in total, you're getting 120 hollies, which is a lot. So I think earning hollies is definitely not going to be a problem. How are you going to know how many hollies you've already collected? Well, after 5th of December, just under the voucher section, you're going to see that little gift sign showing you how many hollies you have already collected. So all your collected hollies will be shown at this point. Well, in this picture, you can see someone has collected 75 hollies, which is showing just under the voucher. Okay, now I'm sure you must have learned how are you going to earn the hollies. By filling the boat crates, each boat is going to come with the gifts, and each gift is going to give you a different amount of holly per crate. Now, once you've collected enough hollies, what are you going to do with them? Well, as I talked about the holiday gift catalog in my last video, yes, there's going to be a different catalog coming December 5th, just at the usual place of your mailbox. Now, this is how your holiday gift catalog is going to look. Please remember, this is just an example to show how it's going to look. The exact figures and stuff can vary depending on your level. So, for example, in this picture, we can see you're going to get chick vouchers, uh, blueprints, expansion permits, spending the hollies, and it is showing you when it is actually going to come. So each week, starting Monday, you'll actually be able to see what kind of gifts are there for you to purchase, so you can prepare for what are you going to buy. Well, in this picture, we can see there is a figure skater gnome for 50 hollies, and then you have three expansion permits, you have puzzle pieces. And guys, this is just an example and not the accurate information. This gift catalog is probably going to vary person to person. Once you've purchased something from the gift catalog, you'll not be able to buy it again, and there's going to be a tag of sold out showing that you cannot get it anymore. And of course, there are going to be some cool decorations as well that you'll be able to buy spending your hollies, which I'll be showing you guys later. But this is how the gift wrapping station is going to work. I'm really excited and I'm definitely going to be buying a lot of chick vouchers and a lot of expansion permits. Now, some of the most frequently asked questions related to the gift wrapping station. People ask, where is the gift wrapping station? I don't have it. I don't see it. Well, as I said, it is not here in the game. It is going to come on 5th of December, 10 a.m. UDC. So you'll have to wait till then. Number two, can I send Tom for these gifts? No, you cannot send Tom for these gifts. You're going to have to make them yourself. It is just like a little challenge. You can also not request these gifts in your neighborhood. Can you ask for help on the gift crates? Indeed you can. And the hollies will be given to that person who's going to fill your crates or who's going to help you. So you will not be getting the hollies. You can also activate the booster. And then if the crates get automatically filled, you'll be losing your hollies. So make sure you do all the gifts yourself. This will give you a maximum chance to collect as many hollies as you can. Just like that, you can also not sell your gifts in the roadside shop. So guys, I hope that clears most of your confusions. If you have any more questions, please let me know in the comments. Now we shall indeed talk about it even in more detail when it actually comes in the game. There's just two days left. I can't wait. I'm really excited. This is something unique that we've never had in the game before, and I'm definitely looking forward to playing it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this feature in the comments. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more Haiti content coming. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.